Okay, this is chapter 10, lesson 5. It says hands on, fractions on a number line. It says represent. Represent the fractions one third, two thirds, and three thirds on a number line. Start on the left. Place a one third fraction tile above the number line. So here's the number line. Okay, so here's the one fraction tile right here. This is one third. Okay, trace the tile and shade in the figure. If I want to pick another color, just click another color. Okay, what fraction does a shaded area represent? It represents one out of three, or one third. Okay, two thirds is this. Two thirds would be both of them. And uh, three thirds, three over three, would be the whole thing. And look at this little section right here. Three over three is going to equal to what? What's the number? What's this big number right here? What's the big number? Don't you see it right here? No. What's that? What's this number right there? Look! Look at the outline. One. One. Thank you. One. One. So, when the when the uh, when the numerator is the same as the denominator, the fraction is going to equal one. Okay. Because three over three isn't that that one whole section. It says place the second and a third tile above the number line next to the shaded figure. Trace the tiles shaded in the figures, and we did that already. So if I have two of them that are shaded in, if I have two of them that are shaded in, okay, what fraction do the first two shaded areas represent together? Okay, when it, the two shaded areas, how many did I shade together? Two of them. And how many total? How many sections are there total? Three. What fraction do all three areas represent? Well, all three of them are colored in, and there's three total. Okay. One third represents one part, two thirds represents two parts, and three thirds represents three parts of the whole. Then it says, look at the fractions one third and two thirds on the number line. Uh, one end point of the fraction tile that represents one third is at zero. So it starts here. Here's one third. If I want to know what two thirds is, how many more tiles do I, I need to get another tile, right? So just this tile right here, what's the fraction for that tile? Just one tile. What is it? One third. One third, yes. Because it's one shaded in out of the three total. But now I, if I have this other tile also shaded in, what's the fraction of both of these? Two thirds because two are shaded in, out of three. And then whatever's left is also one third, but altogether I get three over three, which is one. It says label each unknown fraction, each unknown with a fraction of the whole it represents. So look, I have one six, one six, one six. So what goes in here? One six. One six. And then I have one six. Then what goes here? Same thing. One six. Remember, I have, I have one third. What, what would go here? 
one third. Just this section right here is one third. Just this section here is also what? One third. And all of it, one, two, three, four, five, six, six over six is going to equal one. Three over three or three thirds is going to equal one. Okay. Number six, what fraction goes in the middle? Am I one third of the way, half of the way, or one fourth of the way? I'm halfway. How do I write one half? One over two. One over two. It's the same denominator, which is the number at the bottom, with only one section. You know, I'm just just this section right here. And number seven. Okay, by one fourth, what goes here? One fourth. One fourth. I just want you to have one fourth. Right? Oops. Ah. So this is one half. Here they're going to have one fourth, two fourths, and three fourths. That's not, that's not what they told you at the top, though. See? And then they give you different directions for the bottom. They say label the fractions on the number lines from zero to one. Now they want you to go one fourth, two fourths, and three fourths, or four fourths. Number eight, which number is going to go on the bottom all the way through? Eight, eight because that's my de uh, denominator. So eight, 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 and eight. Okay. Now, my numerator, the numbers at the top, just follow the pattern. What comes after the three? Four. What comes before three? Two. And then one. What comes after five? Six. So I have one eight, two eights, three eights, four eights. Wow, look. Check this out. One half is the same thing as two fours, which is the same thing as four eights. They all equal a half. Because aren't they in between their, their number lines? Yes. This right to the point that represents on each each fraction. So two sixes represented by point what? Point A. Point A is zero. Is that a zero? So what point represents two sixths? Well, here's four six. What's before four then? Three six. What's before three? Two six. So I'm looking for two six. So what letter represents two six? C. Here I have two fourths. What's after two? What's after two? Three six. Three fourths. What's before two? One fourth. So I want to know what letter represents four over four or one. 